Uh, someone says, I'll fuck people up at VidCon if they dare throw stuff at you. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is what I imagine. I walk out on stage, somebody throws an egg at me, and all of a sudden everybody starts beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> it would be crazy. Um, house analogy. A video you made after breaking up with that ex and getting back with the, your current girlfriend comparing them to houses. Oh! Yeah, you guys are right. You're right. I I am going to own up to that. I called her dirty. I did. And, you know, that is a point where I have actually been a little dishonest. Because I, I thank you for bringing that up. Um, I said, I made a joke. I said, one house, you know, is a lot cleaner than the other, or whatever. And I was using a house analogy to, to talk about people. And if you don't like me for that, for making a joke about her being unclean, okay. I, I'm not going to apologize for making that because I, I, I didn't lie in the sense that I don't think she's a clean person or wasn't at the time. Maybe she's clean now, which is awesome. Congrats for being clean and washing yourself. But at the time, she wasn't clean and I made that reference and I'm owning up to my mistake. Okay, I said that and I was wrong. I was very, well, I was, I was wrong in the sense that it's, but see, at the same when did she release the, the, the letter lying about stuff we went through? Because if you lie about somebody and they say you're unclean, I think you had it coming just to the fact that you lied about them and you tried to hurt them and they're just basically saying a fact that you're unclean. But even so, I mean, it's all, it's all kind of immature, isn't it? Like, obviously I haven't been the most mature through all this. If I was really mature, I wouldn't even be talking about this stuff. I would have just kept it all private. But at the same time, she went public with all that stuff, and so I responded publicly. So, I mean, it's like there's there's no 100% right or wrong party, but there certainly is a big divide between who's being honest and who's consistently warping the truth for the sake of their own gain. Because one person is willing to consistently admit, you know, or, yeah, is, is willing to admit that they're, they're at fault for a lot of things. And another person, you know, thinks they're a princess and that, you know, they're just... Everybody's everybody's messed up except for them. You know, I heard the speech when I was with her about how she's a princess and I mean like I say that in the sense that she's she's innocent of everything and everyone else is just guilty, 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 guilty. But it's like, no, I, I admit that I'm guilty of saying that she's she was dirty in that analogy. And I was I was wrong if she hadn't yet publicly attacked me, but if she had, I don't know, I don't think that's necessarily something I should be ashamed of. Anyway, someone says, do you still talk to your ex-wife? No, I don't. The last, the last I heard from her, she called me a sick man. And I responded with, uh, you're the one who stole from me, and you lied, and you cheated to get your way to stealing more money, so if I'm a sick man, then what are you? Anyway, but yeah, she called me a sick man. And, I mean, that's... Here's the thing with relationships, okay? I can be pissed, 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 and rant, 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 but the moment you come to me and you say, hey, let's, let's work this problem out, you know, with somebody that... I've known in my life, the moment you say, let's work this out, I'm like, okay, let's work this out. You know, but the, when I've gone to her and said, let's work this out, she ignores me. She just totally blows me off. So it's like, okay, and then she writes, you're a sick man. And she, she goes on about how, you know, she thinks I, I need help or something. And it's like, you know, maybe I need to see a therapist at some point, as she already is seeing a therapist, and obviously she's already getting the help that she needs. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that I'm wrong for, for saying when I'm stolen from that the person who stole from me is a thief, you know? You don't sign a contract and then steal it later on. That's screwed up. You steal it so you don't have to hold it. I mean, if she, wasn't, if she thought it was a completely invalid contract, she wouldn't have had to try to steal it. And I talked to my lawyer, and my lawyer said that, that that contract could very well hold up. However, the way things were sounding is that um, it wasn't going to in the long run, like... She said it all depends on the judge and so forth. So eventually, I just settled. I just, I just said, you know, what? I don't want to pay you 150, but I'll give you 90. And she agreed to 90, which is crappy because it's way more than what we originally agreed to. But at the same time, it's what I, I did to save myself from further suffering. You are squirmy. You are squirmy. That's just precious. Does it get more precious than this guy? I think if I just hold him up, he'll stop squirming. <laughs> Someone says, what's your opinion on magic? Hi. 
What's your opinion on magic? I'm holding up a puppy. This is this is this is my prop puppy. <laughs> my opinion on magic is that it would be awesome if it was if it was real, but it's probably not. Again, guys, thank you for tweeting me so much. This is awesome. Um, has Shiloh done anything to try and destroy you, as she stated in the video? Um, she did come out with that blog once, where she was saying a bunch of things, saying talking about patterns and so forth. Um, she didn't fully, when we, we got back together, she didn't fully say that wasn't true about what she released. So... I mean, that's that's the one thing she did, is she released a blog. She was working in cohorts with my other ex. My exes that, like, had joined forces to try and take me down. And then uh, she got back with me, and then she told me everything that her ex was doing. Allegedly, my ex was eating a steak while drunk on Skype. That's allegedly, because this is Shiloh talking, so we don't know if it's true. But apparently that's what was happening, and, um, I, you know, I don't want to go into too much depth, because I don't want to get Shiloh in trouble, in case it isn't true. So I won't go further into what happened, but it was a lot of bad stuff that Shiloh said my ex was doing. Wow, you really changed my life, man. You are amazing. Thanks a lot. Shout out, maybe? Shout out to Danica. Have you ever thought about taking a break from YouTube? Hell no. Giving a ch haters a chance to calm down? I think if they just gave me a chance to talk <laughs> without them yelling at me, they would see that I'm completely fine, and there's no reason to hate on me, other than, you know, the mistakes I've made in the past regarding, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I've owned up to all my mistakes, though, you guys know about them, it's where, like, I, I, uh, wasn't bluntly honest about that, that reference, that house reference, I wasn't bluntly honest about that, and what else? Oh, I made the mistake of saying that she was completely right when she wasn't. Someone says I give them hope. Thank you for saying that. Have you ever thought about making a gamer channel? I already have four channels. And also, um, with the, the new regulations, it looks like video gaming stuff might be not allowed anymore. So I don't, I'm going to hold off on making a gaming channel. You aren't an atheist, but you aren't a Christian either. Do you have a name for your religious views? Yeah, it's called agnosticism. Or Seseska, because I'm a cult leader. <laughs> Whatever happened to Shiloh and the Canadian Mafia? <laughs> I'm literally reading these questions before I even read them, like reading them aloud before I read them in my mind. Uh, I don't know. You know, that's just one of those things where I'm like, Shiloh, this is stupid. Why do you keep saying this? But I don't know. Someone said, why would Sky call you a sick man? I wish Sky would just like level with me. I wish, oh shit, I said her name. Damn it. Okay. Um, I'm not even going to... She would call me a sick man because she's mad. I don't know. Someone says, you support rape victims without describing what you think rape is. That's a bit insensitive. Oh, you can support rape victims without describing what you think rape is. Um, the thing with what you just said is, is when I introduced that video, I said this video will likely disturb you. So if, it's going, if you don't want to get disturbed, don't watch it. But people don't want to pay attention to those disclaimers because it doesn't make them look good in criticizing me. See, someone says, do you hate meat eaters? This popular idea that I hate meat eaters. I don't. Uh, meat eaters are fine. I mean, in the sense that, I mean, I don't approve of what they're doing as far as needlessly turning animals into poop, but I'm not going to say, you know, let's let's go to war. That's just stupid. We have different views. Um, I, I have different views on how animals should be treated and so forth, and that's just how it is. Um, as far as saying the name Sky, that happened. Um, I can't really go back on it, because this is a live feed. Made that mistake. My bad. But, uh, I don't know. The point is, is that she says I'm a sick man because she's just upset with me. And I, I guess she's mad that I came out with the truth. And I think I, I was so upset about coming out, or I was so upset about what she was doing because I had to pay monthly a, a price. It's like, it's not about how much I'm paying. It's about agreeing to something originally and having the other party not hold up their end of the deal. You know, it's the principle. And I'm upset over the principle. It's not that I can't, I can't survive, because I can survive with, with doing this. It's that she originally agreed to be a volunteer, you know? 
She originally said, I would never take anything from you. She promised me that. And then in the end, she showed her true colors. So, it's whatever. I, I don't want people to harass her. I don't want people to be upset with her um, beyond seeing the truth. Like, just, you know, this is who she is. Okay, let's move on. It's kind of like Shiloh. I tell you guys that Shiloh is a pathological liar because she has admitted to it. And, you know, it's not, it's not something that I want repercussions for. I don't, I mean, in the sense that I don't want her to be hated for it. You know, I feel like being a pathological liar is a condition that's, that's beyond people's control, okay? And they need help. So don't be mad at them. Find them help, you know? And in my case, I still want to be with her even though she has this flaw. Because I love her, and that's what love is. It's sticking with people through thick and thin so long as they love you back. And that's the thing with my ex-wife, is she did not love me back. She may have said she did. She may have, have uh, had this idea in her mind that she did. But in the end, she screwed me over in a horrible, horrible way. And every single month, I'm screwed over again and again. So, it's whatever. I'm not going to be afraid of the truth. And that's what it is. I, I can't help but, but speak up when I'm feeling violated. Okay? I did that when I was in the military. I spoke up when I was feeling violated. And that led me to a lot of stress. That led me to a lot of, of, of criticism and, and judgment and so forth. But you know what? I stood up for what I believed in. I was discharged honorably. And in the end, I mean, I'm better off for having done it. And, you know, with my ex-wife, if she wants to, to arrange something with me where, you know, we can figure out something that's reasonable, awesome. They know my, I mean, everybody knows my email. If they want to resolve an issue, I'm here. I'm, I'm not doing any of this to make people mad. I'm not doing any of this to make people's lives miserable. I'm doing this because I'm standing up for the truth and what I know is right. So in that, if they, if they want to deal with me, they can. It's just the, the things that, that some people are saying about me, it's like, here I am putting the truth out there. And I'm, it's being received with lie after lie after lie after lie. And it's like, I'm the one who's going on these live broadcasts and being consistent about everything I'm saying. I'm the one who consistently answers all these questions truthfully and admit my own faults. So how can you be upset with me for that? Because I would not be speaking about people who did not wrong me. There's no point in me discussing people who, who have, have done nothing to me. I'm discussing people who have, who have lied, who have cheated, who have stolen from me. And I'm trying to make things right. And, you know, if they don't want to email me or resolve these issues... And that's their choice.